Well, uh, the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL aren't even out yet, obviously, but it seems that it may have already beaten the new iPhones in a couple different ways. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all these tech news from one geek, that is me, to another, that is you. Happy freaking Thursday. Listen, we appreciate you and we know there are tens of thousands of you that come back and watch each episode literally every single day and we read the comments. We're with you, all right? We agree. We are just as sick of the Pixel stuff as you are. We promised no more Pixel speculation stuff because we answered all those questions for you in a previous episode, but you might remember we do kind of talk about tech news here, so listen, we still got to do that. It's not our fault that the Pixel's in the news again today. We are just as tired of this as you are. We appreciate you, and if you're tired of the Pixel stuff, it's okay. You don't got to watch this episode. We respect that. Work with us, okay? News. All right, so first up, story numero uno for the day is about... Oh, it's about the LG V40. Is that what they're at now? Either way, uh, here we go. So we still have to wait till October 3rd for like the official announcement of this device. But LG kind of spilled the beans. They gave some deets about the device, including like photos and a video that appeared on some Korean website. And the main thing, it confirms what we talked about months ago here on this show. This motherfucking phone has five cameras, five cameras. So listen, I know there's a lot of new people here that didn't see that episode when we first talked about this, but we kind of joked about how LG needs to make you care about their phones again. So they're adding cameras because each camera equals a new care. So five cameras equals five cares. What do we do? Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. We release a phone. Nobody cares. How do we make them care? Okay, shh, shh, your words. There's too many words and I can't think when there's so many words. Uh, cameras, cameras. People love cameras, they, right? They, they're taking pictures, camera, cameras are good. Camera equals good, yes? I mean, yes, cameras. Yeah, of course, of course, cameras. Yes, yes, okay. So what if one camera equals one care? Uh, all right. So we'll just put more cameras on it. Okay, so what are we thinking? Like three? Four, five, five cameras, for one camera for each care. Five, we'll have five cares. That's it. Math, math will, math will work. People will care. <laughs> oh, oh, that joke, that joke will never get old. Breaking news, children. We interrupt this program for a special report to let you know that Samsung um, did a thing. The Note Nine, uh, new colors. Silver, motherfucker! It comes in silver. And also, they're bringing the black model to the US. Why? It didn't just come to the US in the first- Black! Of all colors, they didn't bring black to the US. Literally the most normal colors for a company to ever release phones in, they are doing after the fact. Now. Now you get the new colors. Uh, that's it. Moving on. All right, let's jump into the Pixel 3 XL stuff. There's like a handful of stuff to cover that leaked, leaked today. First up, a hands-on video, like full-on hands-on video. So the video itself, I'll link it down in the description if I remember. It comes from the same Russian publication that shared a bunch of 3XL stuff before. It shows you the same phone you've seen a thousand times already. However, in this video, he actually says that the vibration motor within the Pixel 3 XL is quote unquote better than the iPhone 10. And if you're familiar with like vibration motors and iPhones as opposed to Android devices, that's usually like 100% of the time where Android devices fall short. For some reason, it just seems like a toy using those things. But with the iPhone, there's just something about it. Something that just feels so good. But apparently, according to this dude, uh, Pixel 3 XL feels pretty damn good. But that's not all that leaked. Also, uh, a marketing video leaked. Like, 
an actual marketing video. Along with this stuff, we've learned that there's like real time Google Lens support within the camera for the Pixel 3 and 3 XL. It shows you different gestures that are gonna be available on these new phones. Obviously some gestures that are already available in Android 9, but because this has active edge support, it enables more stuff. Some gestures include double pressing the power button to launch the camera app, long pressing the button to take screenshots. And a double twist while you're in the camera app will allow you to switch between front and back cameras. And uh, that's it. I'm just kidding. There's more. Okay, yeah, here's the thing. Funny, uh, Brian was editing the show. He just messaged me way after I was done filming and said that it was all a lie. The DxO Mark thing, complete lie, photoshopped, faked. But of course, we didn't find out until after filming. So there you go. It's a fucking lie. Camera's probably still better than the iPhone now. Uh, fuck me. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, that dislike button is for you. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Wouldn't want to not do that. Okay. See you tomorrow.